Octagon. It's Thailand versus Brunei. It's Thailand on the play. Brunei gonna answer back. Let's see. I expect Popolin Kupa to be banned. Yeah. Also, Selena. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know about Natalia. Uh, but yeah, those are some top priorities. Top priorities to uh, control the jungle, right? Uh, the Selena. The the popol and uh, sorry the popol and Koopa and by the way one uh, one thing to take note I think for the, the popol and Koopa it's not just this early game it can like transition to this marksman carry in the late game that is tanky yeah. right because usually we've been seeing uh, uh games right now who is going all the way right it, it's going all the way up to the 30 minute mark up to the 25 minute mark and when it's the, when that game goes by the 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 popol in koopa has a second unit it has koopa so that, yeah. that means that means your five on five will become six on five that's why yeah. uh, koopa right now is on a high win rate but we shall see if they will pick it as both of the teams will ban out two funnel heroes the claude and the link oh what is brunei doing thailand is the first pick i don't mm -hmm. know why don't they I don't know, man. If Thailand does not get Popo and Koopa here, they better have a, a, an amazing strategy. Maybe uh -huh. it's the Luo Yi, because you need Luo Yi to, to, to be built around. But yeah, that's the Kaja and the Selena band here, uh, respectively, by both Thailand and Brunei. Now, oh, Esmeralda a better choice because you can put it in mid and the side lane, so I respect uh -huh. that. But most definitely, one of these teams have to start getting the Popo and Koopa in the first phase. If not, it's gonna get banned in the second phase of banning. Sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, probably, yeah. But I think the Esmeralda is a safe pick here for Team Thailand. Not, not, not really de revealing much. Again, the Esmeralda is a good mage. He can, uh, uh, there you go, there you have it. <laughs> the Popol and Koopa, second pick coming in from Team, team Brunei. But yeah, back to what I'm saying, it, it, can, uh, it can give a lot of burst damage. It can play as a tank. It can play as a a core hero so yeah team thailand um flexible uh i think they saw the popol in koopa coming right because they have the yeah. priority pick and then they went for the esmeralda it's okay yeah. at least yeah, we yeah. can steal shields from the uranus and yeah. the pnk i think what they'd rather do uh team thailand is they would rather answer the popol in koopa than play it and yeah. maybe fail with it so i guess uh this is a uh, uh, how do we say uh, uh, calculated risk. It's a smart, uh, smart gamble here by yeah. Thailand to let Brunei take the Popol and Koopa. They go ahead and pick up uh, the Farsa and the mm. Jawhead, which mm -hmm. uh, I like. I mean, there's a good uh, mix here of range and uh, engagement. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I expect their side lanes to be solid, especially with the Jawhead. Um, Brunei closing it up with the Kufra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the Jawhead and the Farsa is the response. To, you, to the Uranus, because uh, one way, the, yeah, one way, way there's only one way to kill that Uranus uh, uh, with it's with the lockdown and with the burst damage from the Farsa and the Jawhead. So yeah, that's, that's, ex that's exactly what gets rid of Esmeralda too. So they're, yeah. they're kind of mirroring each other, but it yeah. still puts Brunei up one card, and that is the Popol and Koopa. Like I don't know. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't know like what beats a popol in koopa what's the minus one to their plus one and yeah. the only times i've seen popol in koopa fail were in the early days of popol in koopa where people did not know how to deal with it like people did not know the true power of of this mm -hmm. duo but right here right now uh brunei it looks like they are trying to go for a just push strategy but they are going to need one more solid support in mid if that's what they want to do as they uh highlight here the masha this is looking uh, dangerous for Team Thailand because I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm now seeing the strategy for uh, Team Brunei. They, mm -hmm. uh, they have the Masha in the side lane. They have the Popul and Koopa uh, uh, going to the jungle, putting in traps, and then you have Ayurinos in your in your other side lane. So I think uh, for Team Thailand, they need something. They need another hero that can put in burst damage, that can reach something, and, and just and can go fast. That's yeah, why I and think they're hovering the Kimi. No, this is the fastest you can go. Yeah, I mean, this is this is yeah. this is basically ranked games for Thailand. They just want to yeah. go for the high loss and the Kimi just go mm -hmm. straight into the jungle. I mean, at this point, even the Jawhead at level two can start killing people with yeah. the ejector and smart missiles. Uh, yeah. Not to mention Farsa. All right, so 
pretty solid early game lineup mm -hmm. for Thailand and Brunei here. I don't think it matters what this last pick is, but I'm sure that they want to push. This is so telegraphed. Uh, they want to push. It's not a Layla, ladies and gentlemen. Don't lose it. It's not a Layla, and Harry. it's weird if it's a carry. Oh, they go for the carry. That's because because Leo. I think that that's the only that's the only core that they like that is available in the current meta because. Team Thailand, they banned out the Lancelot, and the Lancelot is perfect for this type of lineup that Team Brunei has. I think Team Brunei, they shifted towards that um, skirmish, uh, uh, confusing skirmish type of lineup. They don't want to team fight uh, because of the carry and because of the... Uh, they practice this in their, uh, in, their, in their training, in their training. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Team Thailand versus Team Brunei for game number one of day two of the Razor C Invitational. It's 1-3-1 one, one for Team Thailand. Meanwhile, Team Brunei, they have this 1-2-2 uh, two, two type of play style with the Popol and Copa support here in the mid lane. We are now seeing, there you go, that is the combo. That is the high loss, Kimmy. You know what, Leo, in pubs, in pubs, this guy, uh, this type of combo, the Kimmy and the high loss, it has a high win rate. You oh, can yeah. definitely get a lot of resources with the Ooh. movement speed boost and the uh, and the ring of order plus the damage from the high loss and controllable mm -hmm. damage in the early stages of the game. Yeah, look at this mirror though by Team Thailand. That's uh -huh. uh, the three members going for their orange. Not much that Topong can do, and uh -huh. I think at least Hajinity able to take his purple. So Team Brunei here they're sharing the buffs. I mean they'll give one over. To the invite to the invader and then uh they'll leave one for hygienity so here's what's interesting about team brunei they yeah. feel like they're trying to chase they're trying to invest in two different kinds of stock right they're yeah. trying to go for this hyper push and just the same they're trying to go to funnel hygienity and now it's going to be oh, four members onto two and it looks like mrs zinc is oh. going to be going down no he survives as well as lois and bo oh, wow. as well as ally almost going down here uh, they have what? A few minions left. Ally needs to get out of here. Goes yeah, for the this, heal. This is going to be a push. Unless, unless the Kimi and Hylos catches up. That is the rocket. But there you go. That is the main target there. If you don't get kills, just get the push. And Team Brunei getting the first uh, push of the game. The bouncing ball initiation counter. Oh. Gold injector was there. Passing it and setting it up for the Kimi to last hit. It's like volleyball, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Counter go. This is that's the counter punch that you've been talking about, Leo. And yep. this is Team Thailand mirroring the push, and they will even up the trade. But this is the smallest like level of the counter punch. It's 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 across like what a minute or so, and they, they it's more of a trade. Uh, to yep. be honest, there are better lineups that show you like the best way to counter punch, and you'll yep. see them. It's like four members, five members waiting in the jungle. They'll yep. throw. Out They'll throw out skills, throw out ults, bait out the fatal links, and then yeah. once you make that mistake, that's when they go. So you usually see these kinds of lineups uh, lose the early game at around four to five minutes, and then yeah. maybe around the six or seven minute mark, even maybe eight if, if, if they can't find team fights earlier on. That's when you see them start wiping people out. All right, but nonetheless, it's, it's still pretty fair down the middle. Team Brunei here. They lost out what they pushed down bottom, could not find any other uh, yep. spot on the map to convert or trade into. And now Team Thailand, all the wiser. Despite this lineup being the Kimi High Loss lineup, they know that they need to stick together to make Team Brunei pay. Because Team Brunei, again, we mentioned earlier, they're not the, the team fight type of build. They, they yep. need to just spread people out. It's divide and conquer for Team Brunei. But oh, yeah. Team Thailand, this is the right way to go. They just need to stick together, force these team fights, and make sure Hajinity needs the same oh. kind of guarding that this Kimi needs. And look at that now. Dalinity yeah. cannot peel. Now this one gonna run away. L uh -huh. uh, no! Oh, he oh. almost lost out. Wow, the yeah. rejuvenation. The revitalize, it worked. A lie. Taking oh, down this one, Tatsupong gets the kill. But Alois. With it, oh. and Tatsupong is not going to live here. That is two for one here. Team Brunei loses out on that. Great conversion by Team Thailand. There you go. There you go. That is uh, clearly a miscommunication for Team Brunei. It was Doltini uh, pump faking the Tyrant's Revenge, hoping to get one knock up and they will they will immediately burst it with the phantom step and the uh, and the slows from the spinning light wheel but man it's 
it's just the lineup of Team Thailand right now. You cannot really go near the Hylos and the Kimi if you are a carry. Team Thailand, um, with the best decision in the early stages of the game, rotating down to bottom, answering to the push, and negating this Hajini uh, funnel that Team Brunei wanted. You know what, Leo, one thing that I like about Team uh, Brunei is that they adjusted to what's lacking to their lineup. Because Hajini, usually, you see carries with purifies, right? This is the perfect purify game for him. It dodges a lot of stuns, but he went for the retribution and with this with this retribution team thailand knows this so that's that means he's an easy target for their team he's an easy kill it's a is an yeah it's going to be like the best food that there is for team thailand there you go like as i say it man nice stun coming in from hylos and there you go ball running for his life right now no damage whatsoever for team brunei to counter punch this as Team Thailand will push the top lane, they will now put. They are now pushing the mid lane, and they are now winning the first five minutes of this game, five to one, three K gold lead, Leo. This situation right here could have happened much earlier, but at this point, Team Brunei, they are now on the defensive. They need to go on the defensive because yeah. what happened there exactly was they tried to go into the jungle. They tried to fight Team Thailand and. Yeah. Team Thailand, there were what, four members of them there? Five? Yeah. And but, you can't do that. That's not the kind of team fight you want if you're Team yeah. Brunei. So exactly what happened was their worst nightmare. First, yeah. Hajinity. Next, Alai. Even Bo uh, uh -huh. was there, uh, but he got away with it. And this turtle here, uh, gonna be uh, contested. Yeah. Down goes the Glorious Pathway. There's a jump by Hack and they're gonna disengage. So again, Team Thailand, they are ahead. They do not need to force fights. And yeah. we've learned from uh, previous uh, tournaments and leagues that the Kimi no longer has a expiration date. The way that Kimi yeah. used to play in the old days was just super early pushing. And now we've yeah. seen Kimi play 40, 50 minute games. So we know yeah. for sure that's not a fact. So that's Team Thailand, they can take their time here and play it safe. Just push what they can, fight where they can, and make sure Team Brunei is always on the defensive. That's all because of the ticking damage from the glowing wand build. But Leo, uh, actually, I think what we're seeing right now is Team Brunei, they don't want to play defensive. They want to catch up with how Team Thailand's fast-paced uh, play style is, is doing. So see right here, Hajizi is on the bottom side. Is this the split push that they wanted? Because right now, Team Thai owning them with the damage that they got and the sustain oh. that they got. But the rocket, three-pointer coming in from set. That was a nice pick-off. But man, Team Brunei, they will, they will defend the top tier tower. Good job, and they will give space for Hajini to probably, uh, Hajinity, I mean, to probably uh, get his item spike up, his power spike in, and uh, get that endless battle to deal with the high loss and the jaw head damage. Oh, oh no. Nice catch onto Dolinity. Down he goes. <laughs> Point blank kill there by a Framesy. And yeah. now, uh, I wonder who took it. Okay, so at least, at least Hajinity got the purple. Uh, yeah. Now they're threatening this push. Down goes the turret. Mid is going to be up next. Wow. I'd hate to beat Team Brunei because look at their top lane turret. Here you go. Glorious pathway. Jump by Hack. There is uh, the uh, Feathered Airstrike still, but Agility gets caught in by the ejector. Down goes that turret. I think Koopa's going to go down here as well if Bodo yeah. call him in. And there you go. They finish the job with the turret up top. Don't need no minions, but look at top lane. Tatsupong making sure that that minion wave lasts longer than it should. Uh, the siege minion, it's, it's going to take it down a notch, but look at this. We're still yeah. at turtle. Eight minutes, 40 but, yeah. seconds in. But this is a fast-paced type of lineup for uh, Team uh, Thailand, and what they want to do is is just push and push and push and push. They have purifies to dodge out the stun from uh, from the Cupra, so why not, right? Why not just go in? And I think Team Brunei, uh, they decided that hey, we cannot take the team fight. Let's just hope for the best to probably uh, split push the map because that's the that's the the the, the nature. Of their lineup, that's how one they want what they want to play. But they're up against this team who can like swiftly go on you with the glorious pathway and with the wings by wings. Legendary. 
and can put up damage oh. without even stunning the Uranus. Yep, they don't care anymore. I mean, yeah. they used Glorious Pathway as an engage, and oh my god, Framesy takes out Haginity. How do you do it? Kimmy's got the rocket. Ladies and gentlemen, I think they can <laughs> threaten the finish here. They're down two men. There's a minion wave down uh, bottom. There's a minion wave in mid. This is four members. It's just... Uh... All right, down goes Dalinity. Uh, I don't think uh, a lie can come in for the save. Targeting the the base is Framesy. Ball goes down. This is over. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Thailand takes game one.